Hello everyone, to facilitate everyone's learning and understanding of Delhi's Smart BMS. Then, we made a series of instructional videos of Smart BMS and accessories. Okay, let's take a look at our video catalog. If you have friends who need related videos, you can find the corresponding service stuff to get our teaching videos. Today we are going to talk about the steps of connecting the UART and N485 modules to the computer. Let's first use a short video to have a simple understanding of our UART and N485 modules. Hello everyone, modules, yeah, let me explain to you our 485 communication tool and an introduction to the use of this UR communication tool. First of all, let's take a look at our 485 communication and the module of this can communication. It's appearance. In appearance, we have made an upgrade. We integrated this wiring harness and integrated circuit. All in this and compared to the UR10485 on the market, then our communication tools are both good looking and easy. And there will be no loose thread problems. First of all, we have to prepare the hardware part, computer, UR10485 communication tool, connect the cable and the BMS that has been activated, that has been activated, the software part, and the computer end of the upper computer of lithium. As for the driver, we can spare a driver. The driver software of the wizard is used as an update of this driver. Let's take a concrete demonstration of how to use UR10 and 485. First step. We first check the communication module of UR10 and 485. Whether the drive between the computer and the computer is normal, and then... We plug this UART cable into the computer yeah, under normal circumstances. You can see that the computer can automatically install, recognize, and set Y. Because of our UART communication and ours and 485 communication, its driver is very conventional. This is the first situation. The computer can automatically install the driver. In the second case, when the computer cannot automatically recognize the installation, we can perform our second operation, and then we can open ours. In my computer, we right-click to find our management. What about management? We can find the device manager. Then from the device manager, we can see that there is a USB here, and there is a yellow exclamation mark here, indicating that this device has no way to work normally, that is, its driver has not been installed. Then we can right click on this location, and then we click update driver. For normal computers, it can pass this step and then automatically update the driver software, but this time, we encountered a second class computer which is also a second class computer, which can't be installed by itself. What should we do when faced with such a situation? We also have a spare driver software here. We can open it and take a look. Yeah, we open the driver wizard. Here it is. There is device management. You can take a look at this device management. We click on the device management. Okay, here we immediately found the communication abnormality. Then, we put this at normal, we click install. We click install. The display here is that the driver has been installed successfully. Then, let's check if the device we just installed is successful. Our computer will find management and then find it again. 
In Device Manager, we can take a look at our first port, which can be taken at this location. Here, USB has been installed successfully, which means that the driver has been installed successfully. Then CH340, it's the 4A on our side, and the logo of our UART. You can remember it, okay. Then we connect our UART line, or the other end of the 485 communication tool. And we plug it into our BMS, okay. What about after we plug in this board? Now, even if it is correct, the connection is successful. Then we can turn on the Dolly upper computer on our computer side. The host computer. This is one of our Dolly PCs. Now, it's a Chinese page. Let's click the communication settings. The port here also has this board read, which is all default and like the 485, including this UART. They are all in the serial port settings. And the board read is 9600 dated. This 9600 dated what? It is also a read of transmission. And the transmission rate of this 485 and this UART is the same. Then, we are now opening the window. Can realize communication. And today we will stop here. If you still don't understand, you can consult our customer service or sales stuff. Thank you for watching.